I'm Sean Kantayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers. Today, Devin and I are going to show you how to trim toenails on a timid, passive puppy. This puppy is Mocha, and Mocha is just learning about being on the grooming table. So although he's been groomed, you can see he's in the traditional Schnauzer grooming style, He's very timid, he's very passive, not assertive, not aggressive in any way at all. And so I'm going to hold him while Devin does the nail trim. And you see what I'm doing is I'm holding his head here and I'm rubbing his ears, I'm doing things that feel good to him. And Devin is going to take our Miller Forge nail trimmers. There's what they look <laughs> like. And I will put a link below to them on our shop. If you are looking for the type of nail trimmers that we use, this is it. Now I'm holding his head and he is pulling a little against my hand. But uh, I'm not having to hold him too hard. He's certainly not aggressive in any way. But he's uncomfortable. I, I just noticed that he was starting to lick his lips. When a dog licks their lips, that's often a sign that they're experiencing some minor stress. So every week we trim our dog's toenails. Once a week, they get toenails trimmed. And I'm wanting you to see what it looks like to trim a dog's toenails as well. So. Uh, Brown-based and black-based dogs are going to have solid black toenails. So sometimes it's hard to see where the quick is. So what Devin does is she takes a little slice off at a time until we get to the point where you can see the white. So notice the, the white area in there. When we can see that clearly, we know that we have gotten far enough in. So again, I have my hands on him. So this is how I'm holding him. And I think of it as a two-person job when we're first starting to teach a puppy. He's yawning again, licking lips, yawning, signs of mild stress. He's starting to look at himself in the mirror. This is not the first time that we have cut his toenails. We cut his toenails when he arrived also but wanting you to see what this looks like. And why with a timid, shy puppy, we approach it this way. So we're giving him some cuddles, giving him some love. With a timid, shy puppy, you don't want to reward their shy, fearful behavior. Instead, you want to encourage and assure them, but not reward. So I'm not saying, oh, it's going to be okay. Oh, you're so cute. Like I'm not doing that stuff when he acts anxious or afraid. I am saying to him, I got this. I can handle this. We're going to be all right. So we'll turn him around now so that Devin can get on the other side of him. And I'm not holding his head because I think he's going to bite her. He has no interest whatsoever in biting. We're not at that level of stress. If it, it, I'm not saying that this dog wouldn't ever bite somebody, but we're not putting him under that level of stress at the moment. Um, I would say to you that all dogs can be provoked to bite. And we're not even anywhere close to that with this dog at the moment. I have other videos on my channel that show you how to identify stress reactions in dogs. If you haven't watched that, check Go it out. SVCCtoys.com, our website, SVCCtoys.com, you'll find our store. And on our store, you will also see links to our favorite nail products. So the Miller Forge, and then we also keep some of this styptic powder, hope I've said that right, that helps to stop bleeding. So if for some reason we get the quick on a dog, we've got this handy, we can take out a pinch of this and push it 
So you take a pinch out and you push it right into the nail. So Devin, can you get right up close to the nail? You'd pinch it right into there. We, and I should really say Devin, who does the nail trims around here, uh, very, very rarely ever need this. But we have it handy just in case we need to stop any type of uh, blood uh, flow in a dog or human too, it also works. And so if we nicked skin somewhere, we can also use the same powder. So have that on hand with your dogs and puppies when you are doing nail trims. Every puppy here gets their toenails clipped every week. That's right, Larry. Are you up next to get your toenails clipped? <laughs>